Showing love and honoring our warriors this Veterans Day is being made possible with a virtual celebration to mark the occasion. The online celebration will bring to life stories of strength, courage, and hope from generations of military veterans. Michael Linnington is with the Wounded Warrior Project, and he joins us now to tell us how all Americans can join in on the event from home. Good morning to you. How excited are you to be able to do this virtual event to still celebrate Veterans Day? Aubrey, we are super excited. I mean, Veterans Day is two days away. At Wounded Warrior Project, we say every day is Veterans Day, but certainly Veterans Day, November 11th, is a day that's set aside for all Americans to acknowledge those who have served in the military and sacrificed so greatly on our behalf. And that really does include the families as well. So we're excited about this week's event. It's going to be gangbusters. It's going to be world class. <laughs> that sounds amazing. And when we talk about this year, it's been particularly challenging for so many people. Why is it just that much more important to do it up this year. Yeah, we knew this year would be a challenge. I mean, the ability to do what we've done in, you know, the last 10 years, certainly on, on uh, Veterans Day, where we gather in groups, parade down the streets of American cities everywhere, you know, with large groups. Last year, I paraded down Fifth Avenue with almost a thousand wounded, ill, and injured service members, floats, music. I mean, just wonderful events, but obviously we can't do that this year. But we knew that it was important for us to continue to acknowledge uh, veterans, uh, all veterans, 18 million uh, citizens still alive, veterans that have served in every war from World War II to the current day. So this year we're planning a virtual event on Veterans Day at 8.30, uh, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time, where we're going to do a virtual Veterans Day celebration that really is a combination of personal stories from generations of um, military veterans, touching reunions, shout outs from supporters, musical performances by multi-platinum singer Sarah Evans, an amazing a cappella group, military bands playing patriotic music, and really just an opportunity for all of us to get together and thank American veterans for, for the freedoms and sacrifices they've made on behalf of all of us. I mean, that's great that you guys have found a way to pivot and make this happen. And still so many people can be part of it because all they have to do is log on to their devices. Now, what else can people expect to see during this virtual live event? You mentioned some of the big names. So Jesse Palmer, uh, former NFL uh, football quarterback and uh, uh, sports commentator, he's our MC. We have uh, interviews with... Um, World War II Navy veteran, all the way up to reunions of some of our wounded warriors that haven't seen uh, their brothers and sisters in arms in several years. Um, the event will be uh, broadcast on our Facebook page at Wounded Warrior Project, uh, Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash WWP, or on our YouTube channel at youtube.com uh, forward slash Wounded Warrior Project. Again, the event is free, it's at 8.30, uh, you don't have to be registered with Wounded Warrior Project to participate or watch the show. In fact, we want everybody to be on because really providing the support for military veterans isn't just, you know, a responsibility of Wounded Warrior Project or organizations like ours. It's the responsibility of communities all across the country um, to reach out, you know, help our veterans transition into productive lives uh, into communities as they were productive leaders in the military. So um, this Veterans Day will be a little bit different, but no, no, no more or less important to celebrate all the great things that veterans have ensured for our country. That sounds so great, Michael. Like I said, I'm glad you're able to do it for this Veterans Day at Wounded Warrior Project. You said every day is Veterans Day. What are some other ways you can tell people that if they want to get involved and they want to support their veterans? So uh, I would say uh, go to our, our website at WoundedWarriorProject.org. Um, we started as a grassroots organization 17 years ago, providing comfort items, bedside to uh, young veterans coming off the battlefield. Today, we provide a variety of free programs and services in mental and physical health, career and benefits counseling. We provide long-term rehabilitation for some of our more seriously injured veterans, wounded veterans in their home. We have, we have programs for caregivers. There's lots of ways to get involved. If you go to our website, um, you'll find ways that you can support our programs directly or get involved in the communities. All of our programs are free of charge. 
to uh, wounded warriors and their families. We believe that veterans have paid their dues on the battlefield, so they shouldn't pay a penny for their rehabilitation and recovery. That's what we do, and that's what organizations like ours and certainly what the Department of Veterans Affairs provide on um, communities all across the country. All right, Michael, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Veterans Day coming up this week, and you want more info, go to woundedwarriorproject.org for all those details on how to honor our veterans.